Tossing it up. Tossing it up here. Throw it up for him. Punchy. Pass. One left, yeah? One left. Don't mind a single here, worst case. from Shane Warne. Grab some people. They grab some more people. Fuck you, mate. Well, plenty happening out in the MCG. Nine overs, one for 70. Yeah, just Shane Warne there getting a bit upset with Marlon Samuels because he grabbed David Hussey. Uh, when David Hussey was batting, and David Hussey wasn't happy about it. Oh, so Warney's taking it upon himself to, to get all of his team members back in this game. They've gone a bit quiet. So Warney again, having the chat. Samuels and Warn. I've seen eye to eye. Sam Nagoski there, the umpire just coming in. Oh, he didn't want to go in. And that was it. That was all about the David Hussey incident. Close, and that the ball. Been some shades of the WWE in the last few games. They're still going. We're ready to go. He was down, ducking down anyway. It was a ball of meant to ball. Oh, another beauty. And that's courageous bowling for Mackay because if he bowls another one, and what's going? The bat's thrown. What is going on? It's completely lost out here. The umpires, they're talking about running him out. I don't think they need to do that. Things need to settle. Yeah, getting far too heated out there. Got to get back on and playing cricket. Marlon Samuels has had enough. He's been, he's been chatted to a fair bit by the stars. And the umpires, Sam Nagolski, and Simon Fry just trying to settle things down, saying, look, we had a bit to say in the last over, let's keep it settled down. You know, I just wonder if I just wonder if Warney when he came in, when the uh, the defensive shot that Samuels played. Just take a look what happened afterwards. Well the incident's getting explained uh, to the umpires. We just need to see what actually happened there. It was a great bouncer from Mackay. Samuels ends up without his bat. Let's have a look. Yeah, well, Warren coming in there, hitting him, hitting him there, after having a chat to him in the last over, wouldn't have been happy. I don't think anyone would have been happy with that. But throwing the bat... <laughs> Last time we saw that was DK Lilly from Perth, the aluminium bat. And there was a bit of niggle, Marlon Samuels and Shane Ward. And it got back to this incident here. Have a look at David Hussey running between the wickets. Have a look at Marlon Samuels with left arm, just grabs him, pulls his shirt. Now that's where it started. And then Shane Ward's come back and said, mate, I remember the incident you did there with David Hussey, so you're not going to get away with it. And Marlon Samuels was just pushing his hand away. That's what started it. That's where it all started. And then this one here, Warney's back. Just be a single. Not happy to skip it. A cool down out there, mate. Well, I don't like it. What are you meant to do? You even throw throws a ball at you. He just walks out of his crease. Just trying to get something happening, mate. Shane Warne joins me now. Shane, firstly, commiserations on the loss, but we have to ask you what happened out there with Marlon. Uh, with who, sorry? With Samuels? Um, well, I tried to just run in there and um, I tried to throw the ball to Bobby Quine and the next minute I had to try and get out the way of a bat. But, you know, it was all this sort of stuff in the heat of the moment and that's just the way it goes. I hope he's OK. The throw wasn't deliberate? At he's him? Bat. No, your oh, throw to him. I tried to throw the ball at Bobby, but... Um, 
No, that's just the way it goes. I'm more disappointed at the loss, to be fair, rather than that. That was just a heat of the moment thing. It's, um, you know, when you're playing an absolute belt like that, you get 50,000 people here supporting us and the Melbourne Stars. And to put in a performance like that with the bat was pretty poor. You know, you can't continue to bat like that. You know, we even though we won four games in a row, I think our bowlers have done a pretty good job through the whole tournament, except for the first game. Our batters just, uh, at the moment, aren't firing. They're good enough, but for some reason, they're not putting that performance on the board. And uh, we're going to have to look a serious look at our team. It's pretty simple for us now. But one game against the Thunder here Tuesday. We win that, we're in the finals. If we lose, we're out. Do you think there'll be some discipline reaction coming out of that incident earlier? No, I don't think so. It was, as I said, it was one of those heat of the moment things. And, uh, you know, we're going to regroup. We've only got a day to regroup Monday. And then, uh, you now we're back here Tuesday against the Thunder who haven't won a game and a few of their guns haven't fired. So let's hope they continue to stay that way. But we didn't deserve to win with our batting like that. You just can't perform like that on an absolute belter of a wicket. Uh, it was an absolute road. We saw the way the Renegades played in that first six overs. Um, they were just too good. Finchie played superb again. Um, you know, we, I thought we fought back there through the middle overs, but unfortunately, just not enough runs on the board. OK, well, we look forward to seeing you guys in action again and hopefully, for your sake, are sewing up the semi-final spot. Yeah, hopefully we can put in a better performance uh, for all our fans and ourselves here on Tuesday. Thanks for joining us. Cheers. But it really, it all started back into David Hussey and Marlon Samuels. Here it is here. David Hussey coming back to the second round. Watch this, Marlon Samuels just grabbing in there. At the start, we thought it was a bit of a joke, and then Shane Warman, he came out to bat Marlon Samuels. Warnie just let him know about it. Mate, I don't want you to do that to my players. Next, make sure you leave them alone. Marlon Samuels had a bit going back there as well. And then all of a sudden, it was a pick-up throw. And then Warnie went through to the keeper and hit Marlon Samuels on the arm. And then the bat was flying, and he thought, mate, you've lost it. And then they're having a bit of a chat to the umpire. So plenty going on in front of 46,000 people here at the MCG. And the umpires... Tough day for them. Yeah, it was. And look, and, and Warney knew that he'd probably overstepped once the ball left his hand and, and went to Marlon Samuels. Uh, and then Samuels knew that he overstepped it when the bat <laughs> flew over Warney's head and went down to the to the umpire.